Okay, so this is a really critical issue with the majority of bathrooms, especially in the colder climates of Australia. A lot of people ostracize the bathroom and tend to keep the bathroom window open 24 by seven. Now what this does, especially in the colder times of the year in Australia or in the southern part of Australia, is it makes this room into a colder part of our house. And then when we do that, what we're actually doing is increasing the chances of condensation and mold growing in our bathrooms. Now, I'm gonna close this window. Now, one of the key features of warm air and cold air is that warmer air can store more moisture in it and it can get it out of our house a lot more effectively before it condensates. Now, when we're ducting our, our exhaust system directly out of the building envelope, where we've got a lot of surface area of the duct that's exposed to a colder roof area where you can get condensation inside the duct and then it'll just drop straight back in to our bathroom. We definitely don't want that. We want warmer air. We want to leverage off conditioned air within our house to exhaust the high humid air from a shower directly to the outside and ensure that it doesn't condensate on the way out where it might come back in again. We also wanna make sure all of our surface areas within our bathroom is as warm as it can be to reduce the chances of any condensation occurring in our bathroom. We want our bathrooms to all be mold free and condensation free. Okay, so now we're gonna do a bit of a demonstration. We're gonna to go to the toilet because both these rooms, the bathroom and the toilet get ostracized where we leave windows open to these two rooms and doors closed. We're going to seal up the doorway and seal up the door ventilation in the door and capture what air flows that we're getting from the exhaust fan with and without the makeup air. So here we are, door open in the toilet. Now we're gonna close the door and tape up the door vent. Okay, so here's me not taking a shit and we're taping up the Q vent, which is a beautifully designed door vent with sound attenuation that also moves airflow for bathrooms and toilets and potentially even bedrooms that have ducted heating outlets that need to get back to a return. Great product. So we're gonna be using the tight V-seal to seal the perimeter of this door for this next test, where we're gonna show the airflow with a door seal installed around the toilet door, ostracizing the toilet or the bathroom. We've got an installation video of this product on our YouTube channel. We'll add that as a link to this video. This door seal should only really be installed on doors connected to the outside. So your back door, your door connected to your garage, or your front door. Not really a good idea to install door seals on internal doors to wet areas or toilets. So the door is gonna close in on the V. Close in and closes it, shuts it. So it's got the potential to close a much larger range of gap and less likely to cause issues with the door jamming or when the, the gap on the door is quite variable, especially on older homes. You get a different size gap at the top and, top and the bottom of the door. So this seal sort of accommodates that. And I'll close the door onto it. Okay, so here we are, we've put the door seals. We've got a very low cut on this door. We've obviously isolated the Q vent and we're just doing a flow test now on the exhaust system, 12.6. So we, if an exhaust system is not given air to move, then you're not gonna exhaust the room as well. So extremely critical in toilets and bathrooms when you're showering with the door closed. We need makeup air to exhaust these rooms. They're extremely critical to be exhausted well. And we also need these rooms to be warm so that we be, can be comfortable and also use significantly reduced condensation forming on these surfaces in our bathrooms and toilets where mold can grow. So critical not to put door seals on toilet and bathroom doors. 
and we need to stop pitching and leaving windows open to our bathroom and toilet areas in our homes.